the wait is almost over to cheer on the champion LA Rams once again. That's right. The final parade preps are underway tonight for the ultimate party for the team tomorrow. That's free for fans. KCL 9's Rick Montanez is live at Exposition Park with a preview for us and what fans and residents can expect. Hi, Rick. Hey, Serene and Juan, the stage is just about set for tomorrow. You can see crews right now are transforming Olympic Plaza. This area is where the Rams will be tomorrow with their friends and family, the VIP section. More than 20,000 people are expected to show up for the parade and for the rally. And there is a lot to know if you plan to be here or if you just live in the area. Crews are working into the night, setting up the stage for the Rams Super Bowl 56 rally. Outside of the Memorial Coliseum, there will be plenty of space for the estimated 20,000 fans. Huge monitors are also set up on the grass for those who can't be up close. And there will be street closures. That will happen early Wednesday morning. For now, these barriers are in place along the parade route marking where fans can stand to cheer on the Rams as they ride through the streets. I'll find a spot somewhere and cheer on the Rams. I'm just here to have a good time. I'm happy we're champions again. The Rams victory parade will start at the Shrine, head down Jefferson Boulevard to Figueroa Street, then to Exposition Park Drive. The players will ride double-decker buses, and LAPD Chief Michael Moore says hundreds of officers will be on patrol. Uh, once that parade route is completed, those officers will be freed up uh, for added patrols uh, both around the parade area, the celebration area, as well as in the downtown area. He says that's because following Sunday's Super Bowl victory, hundreds of people hit the streets near the downtown core. The celebration turned violent as people set off fireworks and damaged property. But individuals will believe that uh, the celebration is not over for them until they've caused a little bit of of disturbance or, or recklessness. Chief Moore says he hopes that doesn't happen Wednesday. Closures for the parade route will start at 7 a.m., four hours before the parade. And it will be the first day LA County lifts its mask mandate for outdoor mega events, so masks won't be required. And if you're coming tomorrow, remember it is free for the parade and the rally. No tickets necessary, but we're told you will need to show proof of a vaccination or a negative COVID test to get into the rally here outside of the Coliseum. The parade starts at 11 with the rally expected to begin around noon. We're live outside of the Coliseum tonight. Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News.